Hi, my name is Dave Allardyce. I'm one of the Glenfiddich brand ambassadors here in the United States. And I wanted to make a short video to help to commemorate the life of the late, great Sandy Grant Gordon, who sadly passed away December 21st, 2020. Mr. Gordon, or Mr. Sandy as he was better known, made some incredible contributions to Scottish culture and heritage with a strong focus on piping. But as a great grandson of the founder of Glenfiddich, William Grant, I want to focus on Sandy's incredible contribution to the single malt Scotch whisky industry. In telling the story of the family who changed the world of whisky forever, it's impossible to separate the man from the myth. In 1963, when Sandy, the great-grandson of Glenfiddich's founder, took his single malt to New York, people were sceptical, to say the least. Madness, they said. You can't sell single malt to the land of blended whiskey. Sandy knew otherwise. As you'd expect from the maverick whisky makers of Dovetown. Glen Fiddick, family run since 1887. So back in the early 1960s, if you were drinking Scotch whisky outside of Scotland, chances are you were drinking blended Scotch. It was Sandy that helped open up the category of single malt Scotch whisky. A few years ago, we decided to create a special whisky to commemorate 50 years since Sandy's journey over to the United States to open up the category. Glenfiddich the original is created by Brian Kinsman, our malt master, and he used ledgers from back in the 60s and some samples of the actual whiskey from back in 1963 to put together some casks that would represent that flavour and style from back in the early 60s. And I think it's only right that we raise a toast to Mr Sandy and his contributions to the Scotch whisky industry with a replica of the dram that he used to open up the category back in 1963. To Mr Sandy, 